Hey everyone, welcome back to another Painting with Jay. As always, my name is Jay. So grab a brush, grab some models, grab some paints, and paint along with me. Let's rid our world of unpainted models, shall we? I am continuing on my journey for my Dark Angels army, uh, my glow up, and today I'm painting up a heavy intercessor squad of five models. And uh, I just got them started yesterday, but as you can see, they're well on their way. I'm hoping to get almost all of it done today. We'll see how much we can get done. I'm hoping to have them done by the end of the week and make an update video on my painting project. So, let's get started. Once again, huge shout out to Cody Rue. Adam, you missed a spot. Let's start painting. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be working on, as I mentioned, these uh, Assault Intercessors. Let me just make sure they're in focus today, because I think a, a part of my last video was, no, they weren't in focus. There we go. Cool. So, let's get started on these guys. They're kind of a palette cleanser. I finished the Stern Guard. The Stern Guard had a few more colors than the average model, and also the Terminators had a few more colors than the average model for this army that I'm painting. So I decided just to pick up these guys yesterday. And I, I mean, like, actually just physically pick them up because they were on my table. I was like, let's paint these guys. So I've spent about an hour so far, and they're well on their way. Like, I could play these in a tournament right now, and they count. So, cool. So today I'm going to work on them, get them done over the next day or so, and go from there. You know, and just uh, get them done. And then I really should make an update video showing all my progress. I haven't, I'm not where I need to be right now, to be honest. <sighs> I was hoping to get farther. I, I've done some painting. I'm not like nowhere, but I, at this point I'm about 20 models in. Technically 25 models into my, my uh, Operation you know, Dark Angels Glow Up. There we go. Cool. That's the silver. I love it. These guys are so... Oh, dropped. <laughs> Once again, huge shout out to Cody Rue. And Adam, you missed a spot. So far, I've actually not seen any inclination, or any indication, I mean, that uh, Adam's actually watching these videos. But I hope he does. Because otherwise, he's out somewhere missing spots. And my goal is to prevent that at all costs. You know, I don't want Adam missing spots on my watch. But we'll see. Adam, if you're watching, you missed a spot. Hmm. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. So I, I've been keeping up with the tournament scene. Um, and it seems like on the weekend, it was actually a pretty balanced result. All right, I'm going to take some Nuln Oil. He's going to dry for a minute. The rest of them are good to start. I'll let these guys with Nuln Oil shade and go from there. As I said, I'm just going to paint for a bit today. I don't know how long, to be honest. It is a little late. Later than I normally start my painting with Jays that I film. And I have to render it and upload and... I don't know where my oh there's my non oil. So let's non oil shade these guys, do the golds, and then I'll start highlighting. Because Yeah. I said that there's only like four or five colors, so they're a very quick palette cleanser, as I mentioned. Very quick group of models to paint. And then after these guys, I'll be done uh, twenty models so far during this glow up. Plus the five uh, Deathwing Knights that I just cleaned up and, you know, highlight, you know, my first painting with Jay. So, I've had some recent, you know, I've been painting. I just really want to see if I can finish the year net negative for <laughs> amount of models to paint. I, uh, just don't know if that's going to happen. We'll see. To paint all these models and to finish the year with more models <laughs> to paint than I started. Ugh. That's a very J thing, and a very min miniature wargamer thing to do. But, if I keep going, though, at this pace, I'm in good shape. You know? And I do know that the majority of my unpainted models are Gretchen, right? The old Duke Grot models that I'll just, uh, blare through in the near future. Mm -hmm. 
So we know autumn's fully afoot because pumpkin spice is everywhere. I don't know really what I think about pumpkin spice. Some people really love it. I don't know what I think. Uh, what do you guys think? Leave comments in the comment section down below. Are you pumpkin spice people? I had a pumpkin spice drink the other day at Starbucks because it was recommending it for me. So I got it and I drank it. But it's very heavy cream, you know, very, very cream heavy beverage. And uh, next time I was ordering, I just looked. <laughs> it contains six times more calories than I normally, my normal drink at Starbucks has. That's pretty funny. I'm like, oh my goodness. Six times the calories. I don't really calorie count a lot. I've been trying to be more active lately. But uh, it's just pretty funny. Pretty funny indeed. Yeah, pumpkin spice. It's autumn on Sunday. Saturday, Saturday sorry. Saturday's the first day of autumn. Uh, let me start talking about, yeah, pumpkin spice, as I mentioned. So everyone's obsessed with it at this time of year. Which, it does mean that, you know, Thanksgiving's around the corner in Canada. I know for my American friends, it's not for a while, but in Canada, it's in a few weeks. Yay. I'm taking that week off. Um, pumpkin, you know, pumpkin spice means back to school is done. Halloween and Thanksgiving are on their way. And then after that, it's basically Christmas. So. Wow. The year's feeling like it's almost over, but... As I mentioned, my goal is still to paint all of these models and to see if I can get into my three characters. Uh, I've decided the order I'm painting them to. It's going to go Chaplin, Azrael, Lionel Johnson. Because Lionel Johnson has to be the final model I paint for this wave of models. Of course, at that point, there will be new <laughs> Space Marine models out because the new Codex is probably just around the corner. I don't actually know. I'm just hypothesizing because GW is releasing leaks, as you see by some of my videos. Um, GW starting to release leaks now. Uh, not leaks. Um, you know, little bits, tidbits of information. There was a leak, though. There was a, a leak in the... Yeah. Uh, apparently it was a huge data leak. It happens every, like, codex now. People see the codex beforehand. And... Ouch. Like what I see, I don't know if Space Marines are going to take on certain armies, we'll see you both points. Because, you know what I mean? Points really don't matter. It's like we're living in, uh, we're playing a game and whose line is in it anyway? Cool. Another one done. The golds will only take me a minute because there's only a few symbols that are gold. Let that dry. And then I'll paint the leather on a couple guys that have leather straps. See, I'm really loving these Dark Angels. I've been having fun painting them. Can't wait to get them on the tabletop. And so yeah, after these guys, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm, happy to, I'm going to have these guys done this week, obviously. They're almost done. Like, this is not too far from done. Um, and... Then my goal for next week is to take on a squad of ten. I'm thinking I'll paint the uh, the Desolation Squads next week. We'll see. Desolation Squads or the, the Burner Squads, right? And if I can get 10 done next week, that would bring me to the end of, of September, which is good. My goal is to have, you know, I would really love to see it by Halloween, have all these models done. But that would put me at thir uh, what would it, 30, 30? Yeah, 30 of the models painted by end of September, plus the five guys that I had just improved. So that's huge, right? I technically have 55 models to work on during this painting challenge. About 55, 57 models, depending on, you count these little guys as models. And so that would be the majority, right? The vast majority of them done by the end of September, which is good. Uh, it won't take me very long to paint up whatever, you know, 10 men squad I don't paint up next week. I could probably have the other one finished by maybe the following week. I am going to be gone for a few days for work coming up. So I'm going to have uh, in a few weeks, so I'm going to lose those days. But I'm excited. As I said, maybe I can get these done. I, I'm going to keep painting. And if I don't meet it, it's tough cookies, right? I'm not going to like, get mad at myself because I'm still making progress. 
I am very happy with the amount of models I've painted lately. I missed a spot. I pulled an atom. That's okay. I'll clean that up. So I'm very happy with that progress, right? Like the amount of hours I've spent so far and things are looking good. You know, I'm, I'm happy with the results. Yeah. But if I don't meet it, I don't meet the deadline. But I'm still trying my best to hit the deadline because I would love to start my next painting challenge in November. Which is probably going to be Tyranids, to be honest, because I got a bunch of Tyranid models when I painted my... when I bought the starter set. Right? Makes sense. But the only downside, though, is... is um, oh, no, Tyranids. I, I would like to do a whole army glow up once again. And so I would have to um, go and work on some models that are broken and beaten and stuff. And I have to re... I have to break... I'm going to have to break my um, flyrants and redo them. Because they have the old twin-linked devourers, which was the best gun for so many generations. And then, of course, discontinued. Because, yeah. You know, so... And that's paint of uh, gold. And then I'll do the, the leather straps, shade the gold, start highlighting. Life's good. Maybe I'll base as well in this video. We'll see. Get as much done as I can. Because if I can get the basing dry in the next... Um, you know, the basing dry tonight, that's nice. Because then I just can highlight tomorrow. There we go, gold done. This guy, yep. And I'm happy. These are awesome. Yes. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, painting challenge. As I said, we'll keep going. I'm not getting discouraged by any means. I'm having a great time. I hope you all too. Please leave comments in the comment section down below how your painting challenges yourself are going. Because that's what I love about these painting with Jays. We sit down, we paint, I ramble. It's very cathartic. It feels like therapy to me. Technically, I should be charging... Sorry. Technically, you should be charging me like $25 an hour, I guess, or whatever. I don't know what this therapy is. But... Yeah. Awesome. And the other golds. I thought one of them has it. Oh, maybe it's him. One of them has a symbol. Yeah, you. Just right there. There you go. Oh, I love it. It's awesome. I'm, uh... Yeah, Tyranids aren't going to be too bad. To give myself two months for Tyranids should be fine. Because Tyranids, I can pretty much batch paint. You know, just one color scheme. Just the monotony more than anything. You're just painting model after model after model using the same color scheme. You know, some of the bigger guys will have additional colors, but they're all the same overall color scheme, right? Makes sense. This guy doesn't even have any gold in them. Done. Okay. Cool. That's easy. Let's paint the leather strap. I love slap chopping. I'm not going to be able to slap chop my Tyranids because I have my color scheme already set. And that kind of hurts my heart. I really just want to slap chop. I'm having such a good time slap chopping models that it really dictated, you know, my color scheme and my choices of what army I wanted to paint because I just really love slap chopping. It's such a fun... An easy technique and you get great results. And life's good. Like I just I love the amount of 
the, the feeling of, of accomplishment that you get after such a short period of time. It's cool bringing these models to life. I love the glazing approach of uh, using these paints. So, love it. I love using contrast paints. And to some extent as well, uh, the Speed Paints by uh, Army Painter. Strap down. Were there any other straps? I thought there were two straps. Maybe it was wrong. Hmm. Nope. Okay. Strap done. Easy. Another color complete. So, the black is drying. The gold will be drying. So I need to... What should I do in the meantime? I could base them. It's a little early in my video to base. I was hoping to the last vi last part of it to base. Yeah, it's still drying. The shade is going to dry for a bit. So let's just start highlighting. And then highlight for a little bit. I like the chest symbols because that's an easy color that I can easily highlight for now. And then even probably the reds that I can highlight. Just keep going. All right, so grab my wet palette. I already have some uh, thinned down screaming skull and a shabby bone. And let's paint the chest symbols and just start highlighting these guys up. They're looking awesome. Cool. And I'll, of course, cut, recut them in later with some uh, green to, so that I can clean up those guys as well. Those are done. It's just so easy to uh, to really pick up these guys. And again, the slap chop method, I do highlight. That's my, again, not the most, it's not my only, not, I'm not the only one that does that, obviously. But I like to highlight, just do a quick edge highlight or overbrush. Bring up the details. And uh, go from there. For each guy, just bring these things to life. Have a great time doing it. You know? What I did was, because I did the base color of uh, green with an airbrush, it saves me so much time. And all I've been doing is then cutting in the areas that I really want to be cut in using uh, Wraith Bone. And then from there, I just then start my slap chopping. Good. Done. Okay. That was faster than I thought it would be. Uh, next color. Or the gold's dry yet. So I can just hit that with a, sh a quick shade. Mm. Yes. Everything's drying pretty much. So. Excellent. Hit them with a quick shade. I really don't want to start the reds, but I might have to start the reds. I can. You know, just be clean with the golds. Yeah. I already got the the chest color highlighted up. makes me happy. So, of course, Atlantic Canada did get a mini hurricane, like, or a tropical, like, storm. I don't know what the exact name is anymore. Um, 
but uh, by the time I hear here, it was like post-tropical storm or tropical storm. We battened down the hatches. We survived. It was good. The rain did come. Like, it was rainy. It was really windy, really rainy. When it hit, it hit hard. It was one of the worst storms I've had since kind of getting here. Probably one of the top three worst storms yet since getting here. I'm just going to mix some paint then for a second. I'm going to take some Lamy Medium, which it's right here. And then mix an intermediate red highlight color and start highlighting the reds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was crazy. I just chilled inside. My power flickered like once or twice, nothing major. Uh, I do have friends that were that live in Nova Scotia that uh, lost their power for a couple days. And even people in my town lost their power for a bit. You know, I just, where I was, maybe I was lucky. You know, and just, I got lucky and I didn't, uh, I didn't lose my power. I have a, got my generator ready, of course, so in that case, you know, if something happened, that would be okay. And I have a, Um, I pay an extra ser for service that um, in the case of power outage, I can connect a generator directly to my, my box, my electrical box. So that's pretty cool. So it's, I've had to use it a few times since getting here. Uh, the reason being is years ago, before I moved out east, um, the town I'm in, let me just make sure that that's in focus because I just feel that that's, yeah, I guess it is. Okay. Um, Years ago, was it five or six years ago, there was a power outage here at Christmas time. And it, uh, it lasted for like six days. So people, were, my house didn't have power. For six days at Christmas time years ago and so because of that obviously it's 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 happened before that's why I got the service just in case you know but uh, hasn't happened for six days as long as I've been without power since moving here we were without power once for I think for like six or seven hours maybe eight hours uh, eight and a half hours yeah it was eight and a half hours it wasn't that long um, wasn't that long, but it was a cold day, so we had to have the heat, you know, running the heat was the important part. There we go. Perfect. Another one done. Let's go to the next one. So that's interesting. Yeah, the hurricane, we, we packed up everything. in the garage in the shed and uh, just embraced. We just chilled inside for a day, painted a little bit, just relaxed, you know, not much you can really do when it's a tropical storm outside. Really, really windy. No major damage to my house. I got very lucky. Um, and we put everything away. So it was, uh, It was good. So we were safe. And then, unfortunately, I went to my shed to uh, start unpacking things. And a few, they look like wasps, but they, a few stinging insects definitely flew out of the shed. And I was like, oh, that's not a good thing. And then I was just started to unpack some things and so a few more flew up and I was like, oh no. And then I could see the start. There was definitely a nest starting. So that sucked. So we had to deal with that. They were paper wasps, it turns out. Paper wasps. Um, and they apparently have a nasty sting and they were angry. They've been dealt with. So now I can get back into my shed. This summer I've had to mow the lawn more than I think I've ever had to mow a lawn ever in my life because all the rain we've got in Atlanta, Canada, it's been 
crazy amount of rain and just, yeah, crazy amount of rain. The amount of grass has grown is nuts. It's been crazy. I got my riding lawnmower up, up and operational again. Decided to start using it again. My old property was a bit bigger. Um, so I brought, and we offered it to the buyers of the old house, but they didn't take it. So we said, okay, if you want to push start, if you want to push mow that property, good luck. So we brought it with us. These guys are coming together. Good. I've been painting for about 25 minutes. I'm going to run out of things to do today in this video. No, I'm kidding. But as I said, you see the method I'm using. It's pretty easy and effective. Obviously, I did get a lot of the base work done ahead of time for this painting with Jay. But if I can get these models basically done today in this video, it's five less models. 10% of my painting goal. Done. Right? Yeah. Nope, just that one. Here we go. Done. All right, so I could probably start highlighting the silvers. I bet the shade, the shade should be pretty much close to dry. Let's take a look. Yeah, the shade is looking good. You can, you can highlight up those. The silvers first. Yeah, highlight up the silvers. Quick overbrush of the silvers. And then we'll... I'm going to close with the greens. I always want to close with the, the greens as the final color because... It's easy cleanup color, right? So let's just uh, highlight these guys. What should I talk about? Oh yeah, storm. So then the yeah. The, so now as I said, luckily the good thing about the storm is it made us basically put away a lot of our lawn furniture, and we're just thinking we're just gonna keep it away. Most of it's just gonna go away and not come back out for now. The season is done. Yeah, season is over. All right, we're gonna put it away anyway at Thanksgiving, Canadian Thanksgiving, which is a few weeks away anyway. So we're not uh, too far out anyway. So I made us proactively clean up the yard. Yeah. I still want to see if I can play in another 40k tournament in the near future. Just to have some fun, meet more of the community. I haven't decided what army I'd bring. Probably GNC or Cult still. They're fun. I haven't tried them yet with the new nerf to rules yet. I'm guessing they just won't be as survivable as before. That's okay. That'll still be fun. I don't have to win the tournament to have fun. Eventually, I'd like to bring all these dark angels out. But of course, I gotta have the lion leading my army. And he won't be done until last. So, I sincerely doubt that... I think the next tournament in this area is in October. Early October. So I don't think I would get my... Uh,
models done by then. Nope. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Maybe I can get the greens done. What are we at? Half an hour. Good. It's not bad. Look at this. Painting with Jay. Got a bit done. Bit done so far. I'm having a lot of fun making videos again. Don't know if it's going to be forever. I'm just going to play it a day at a time, a video at a time. I'm having a good time. I'm really happy doing these Paint with Jays. I really should have just made so many Paint with Jays over the last year or so. And, you know, I'd be so much farther along in my painting challenges. If I just dedicated a bit of time each week to painting models, like I've been doing. But I'm back in. That's what matters. Better late than never. Right? Better late than never. Um, yeah. Baseball season is almost over. Let's see if the Jays make the playoffs. We're in the hunt. Jays game's going on right now. Actually, there being no hit. That's brutal. All right, put that away. Yeah, I guess it's time to highlight some greens because the golds aren't ready yet. I think the golds are still wet. Maybe not. All right, let's highlight up the golds. And then maybe base them, get that done tonight, tomorrow, do the edge highlighting. And they're done. And they're done. That's pretty awesome. So I'm going to take some of the henna's gold right now and just highlight them up. I don't have a lot of plans for the autumn. I think my next big plan is Adepticon in the winter. You know, I'm just going to enjoy autumn. It flies by so quickly in Canada. It's like right now it's pumpkin spice, but uh, another, you know, four weeks. I'm going to have my winter tires on in about four weeks. Are you in focus? I don't think you're in focus. Yeah, I guess you are. Cool. Uh, I'll have my winter tires on in four weeks because you don't want to be caught in this area in like November. Depending on the year, November's going to be brutal. We get up snow again like in four or five weeks, right? Canada. So winter comes so quickly in autumn. It goes by so fast. You know, it's already dark at night now at like 8 o'clock. It's already very dark. So, as I said, it's just going to be... Uh, it goes by so fast. And then autumn it just blends itself to winter. And then winter is... Winter feels like six months now. Some years it feels like four or five months early, but it's crazy. Yeah. All right, let's take some orc armor gold. Just finish up the golds. Let's see. I have about 15 minutes left. I could, I could start doing the greens, but I think I want to do the basing first. Because if I get the basing done tonight, I'd rather do basing tonight because basing takes so much longer to dry. And then tomorrow I can just, you know, simply do a quick edge highlight of the greens and I'm good 
right? So. Look at that. And, nope, he's done. Yeah, and then life will be good. These guys will be done. Another five done. I think this week I'm going to put up, as I said, the, uh, the video destroy my update on my painting challenge. That way just to give people an update. People have been asking, how's my painting challenge going? I'd say, well, could be worse. Could be better. Well, overall. Well, overall. I guess I could take some scrape brown and highlight up that edge. Let's do that too. Yeah. Maybe some black and highlight and paint the gun handle. And then what I'll do is base the models and probably call it from there. I think I've had a, a successful painting with Jay so far. You know, they're coming along. They'll be done. And then uh, I also don't like painting multiple oh, Black Legion. Black Legion? No. I want Black Templar. I haven't tried Black Legion yet. Hmm. Who's in my paints? Not there. Not there. Not there. Hmm. Black Templar. Where are thou? Black Legion. Black. Nope, it's Basilica Gray. In this video, Jay looks for his paints for 45 minutes. There we go. Film at 11. Alright. Cool. For five models, you can really just start pounding them out. It's nuts. As I said, I really enjoy making videos. And I'm going to keep making videos as long as I can. I'm, it's been really cool to be back. Obviously not the getting the views, but I haven't gotten views in years. That's okay. Maybe one day I'll build up my viewers again. I really do feel spoiled just to have you dedicated people. Like I know a lot of you just take your time to watch my videos and paint along with me, and it means a lot. It really does. It really means a lot. What do I want to do right now? I could highlight the eyes. No. I'm going to just paint. I could highlight the greens. No, let's base. Let's base for like 10 minutes and then we'll we'll go from there. Call it. I think that's a great way of finishing up this video. And that way tomorrow I'll just need about 15 minutes to highlight up the greens and go get the six numbers. Okay, there. Perfect. Where's my. Need some Astro Granite Debris. shake. Where's my paintbrush stereo that I use for it? What I always do is when I'm basing, I always just, I'm going to make a little patch that I'm going to use for the grass. It's right there. And maybe here. Cool. And I'll paint in the rest. I have a bunch of this Astro Granite Debris. It's actually pretty rare these days. Apparently it's been discontinued or like hard to get it temporarily out of stock or something. In all the stores, I got a bunch a while ago for my Gene Stir Cult and I didn't end up using most of it because I overbought it. That's okay. Look at that. And so, just uh, I ran out of the basing material. The problem is I've been out of the game so long that some of the basing material that I use, like my Dark Angel default basing material, discontinued. And it's also not available anymore. So I, if I had to switch up styles temporarily, well, not temporarily, I mean permanently, but ran out of basing material. So my 
Tyranid, no, my Tyranid, my Terminator Command Squad, I kept them using the same basic material as my rest of my army, and then I've had to switch since. All the newer looking models are different basing. That's okay. Good. Maybe a little more here. One down. But yesterday, these guys were just base coated green. And now, they'll be ready tomorrow to, for the tabletop. That makes me happy. Um, I've got a couple of questions a few videos ago. A few painting with J's. I forgot to actually address it because it made me think. Uh, so for the future reference right now, my, my channel's not even monetized. So if you're seeing ads before my videos, which you could be, I don't actually know. They're not actually, there's no revenue going to me. Um, YouTube has the right to put ads before your videos that you don't get ad revenue from if you're not monetized. They do. So there might be ads running before my videos. I don't actually know because I just upload them. I'm not monetized. I took such a long break from videos, my channel got demonetized, deservedly. And it's actually kind of funny. I, it's, I've been back in the game now for, what, six, eight weeks? I don't even know now. Uh, six weeks, probably? And I, my channel is not even back to monetize level. I can't meet the... Uh, you have to do 4,000 hours of watching in a year. And I just, again, my video views dropped off so substantially in that time that I didn't make videos that it's going to take me like probably another f three or four months just if I get lucky to get my channel back up to monetize level. But I'm not doing it for the money. Like I'm honestly not. You wouldn't be making videos like this for the money. I just do it because I really miss being part of the community. So somebody asked me about like, you know, should I have, am I going to do Patreon again? And I don't think so. Um, if I ever did something like that again, which I don't even think I would, to be honest. I, I don't think so. Uh, maybe it will. I don't know. I just, I felt really guilty by the end. That people were spending their hard-earned money on me when I was I was incapable of making videos. I didn't deserve the money, right? But maybe because I'm back again, I don't know. So I might do, YouTube has that, uh, again, my channel's only monetized, but channel like they have paid people that you can pay to subscribe. But again, I'm not even thinking about that right now. To be honest, it's not a top priority. My channel is just to get, I really just want to get my channel back to, um, I just want to get my channel back to viewable and getting views and consistent views. And I, w I really want these 35,000 people that are subscribed to my channel to start coming back eventually. And I'm, I'm testing the waters to figure out what people want, right? Because I've been making videos that I love. Um, and the thing is, I just don't know why these people are subscribed to my channel if they don't watch the videos. But I, I think it's just in their... They, maybe they don't like the content I'm making, or maybe they don't see the content that I'm making because there's so much content these days being made by everyone. You know, maybe my content's just not as good relative to the game. You know, the, ga the game has gotten really good. There are teams and teams of people who make insanely good videos. There's countless people now who make their living off, you know, a secondary source of income, um, like, you know, Patreon or um, paid subscriberships or something like that, and... and make their living of making YouTube videos in our niche. I was one of the early G's that besides mini wargaming that tried it years and years ago and it was fun for a long time. But what we're finding is slowly but surely some of them are finding that they're not financially sustainable in the long term. They've been struggling. But uh, yeah, as I said, I don't really care at the moment. I, I'd like to get my channel back to monetize just because it's a good thing to get. And just make a little bit of side money that I can use to buy models and supplies and stuff. But uh, we'll think about it. If I can, if I honestly feel, I feel I have to deserve it first. I just don't feel I deserve it. The support. I feel spoiled. Maybe that fraud syndrome or whatever it's called. But I just don't feel, unless I feel I can honestly dedicate myself. That I deserve the support of the community. I don't know. 
just doesn't feel right right now. So cool, you know. But if you want to help support my my channel, just watch videos, and hopefully you don't get ads. Because if you're getting ads, it ain't going to me. It's going to YouTube. But uh, watch videos, drive up the hours watched, so that I can uh, just get my channel back to monetize at least, which is a good starting point. And then from there, we'll figure it out. I'm just gonna play it by ear. I don't, I don't have that top priorities. Frankly, it just feels so good just to be part of the community again, to catch up with you people. Like I love it when I'm seeing these names pop up on my channels, uh, sorry, my channel, on my on my videos that they're you. So you know, I know your names, and I just I, you've commented a thousand times on my videos and it just feels awesome to be able to catch up with you all again and some of the people I, I, I know some of the names I'm not, I'm not going to say their names because uh, confidentiality obviously but uh, you know the people I, I ran into at, at Adepticon are commenting and it's just it feels so good and it feels I feel more a part of this community than I have in a long time and frankly it feels really nice and I've gotten more models painted this year than I did last year. Last year I took a lot of time off. I was working on my new house and stuff. But, um, I did paint some models, but, you know, and I really feel that, I know this is laughable, but I think next year is the year that I actually get through my entire pile of shame. Or my pile of gray models. You know, I really feel that next year is the way. Next year is going to happen. And maybe at that point, my channel will be monetized. We'll see. And if not, who cares? I'm having fun making videos. I feel like I have something to contribute to the community again. And I honestly, there was a time that I felt I didn't. Or very little. And it just, it was really cool. There was a few people just saying, dude, we really like, what, like you make videos again. And I said, sure. I feel that I'm not anymore. When I started making videos years ago, I made I started making videos because there weren't anybody who made videos in my style or at my painting level. I'm not an amazing painter. I'm not a terrible painter. I like to paint to a decent tabletop standard. And at that point, there really weren't that many YouTubers at that point because again, I was like second generation YouTuber in my niche. I was doing that, and then slowly it became my my life, and I had a great time. And it was all good, right? But uh, these days now, the the quality of videos is just nuts. You know, like you, you, you could see videos and go, how many man hours went into making this battle report? 40, 45, 50, 70, 100 man hours? And it's cool, but obviously the reason why they do it is just the, is the support on the side or the Patreon or the subscribers because there's no way that video would generate enough revenue from ads to pay for a hundred man hours of work right so but uh, it's just it's crazy right and the painting tutorials have gone up through the roof now again we, we'll talk i think i'll talk about that in a future video just the amount of clickbait titles really annoys me in our niche and in general but in our niche um i i just if anything i just want to show people that having some fun going over some rules and these, this painting with Jay, getting a, reading a world of unpainted models. You know, if that's my contribution to the community, I'm happy. I'm happy. And as you can see, my videos aren't extremely expensive to make, so I'm just having fun. I'm not going to make a dollar from this video, and I'm okay with that. I don't mind at all, because this is the payoff when I look at this model, and again, it's not done yet. I still need to clean up the greens and do the dots and the eyes, but they're pretty much done. Tomorrow, I'm going to paint the, uh, just a quick dry brush and paint the grass, or not paint the grass, put the grass flock on and paint the, uh, the greens and put the dots in the eyes and that'll be it. So look at that. We're at 50 minutes, almost on the dot. I think we should end here because things are good. Let's keep making videos and let's real world win pinwalls. Let's end now. So that concludes another painting with Jay. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Paint along, you're painting along with me. You're reading a world of unpainted models. I hope things are going well with you. I hope you're enjoying your summer. It's about to end and you're gonna have a good autumn.
let's keep getting these painting projects done. And yeah, leave comments in the comment section down below of how everything's going with you and all the questions I was put forth in today's video. Hope you're all staying safe and having a good life. So next time this is Jay saying, once again, thank you for painting along with me. So next time this is Jay saying, happy painting with me.